today we will discuss the topic on nutrition and basic food growth part 2. We get the nutrients our body requires from the foods we consume. These nutrients are used in the body to provide energy, building and repair of body tissues and regulating body processes. Most foods contain several nutrients but no single food provides all the nutrients in the right quantity as required by an individual's body needs. For example, milk is a complete food, yet it is a poor source of iron and vitamin C, so it is necessary to include citrus fruits which are a rich source of vitamin C and leafy vegetables or liver to provide sufficient iron in the diet. Therefore, one has to consume a variety of foods to be able to meet the nutrient requirements. In order to facilitate proper selection of varieties of foods, the different food items are classified or grouped in various ways. Let us look at the classification of food groups. Based on their functions in the body, foods are classified into three basic food groups. These are energy yielding foods, bodybuilding foods, and protective foods. Now, let us see what kinds of nutrients are provided by these food groups. Energy yielding foods. This group includes foods rich in carbohydrate, fat, and protein. One gram of carbohydrate gives four calories. One gram of protein gives four calories. One gram of fat gives nine calories. This group may be broadly divided into two groups. Foods included in the first group are cereals, pulses, nuts, all seeds, roots, and tubers. And in the second group, pure carbohydrates like sugars, fats, and oils. Cereals provide, in addition to energy, large amount of proteins, minerals, and vitamins in the diet. Pulses also give protein and B vitamins besides giving energy to the body. Nuts and all seeds are rich in energy-yielding foods as they are good sources of fats and proteins. Roots and tubers, though mainly provide energy, they also contribute to some extent to minerals and vitamins. Pure carbohydrates like sugars provide only energy and fats provide concentrated source of energy and fat soluble vitamins. Next, bodybuilding foods. Foods rich in protein are called bodybuilding foods. They are classified into two groups. First group, milk, egg, meat, and fish. They are rich in proteins of high biological value. These proteins have all the essential amino acids in correct proportion for the synthesis of body tissues. Second group, pulses, oil seeds, and nuts. They are rich in proteins but may not contain all the essential amino acids required by the human body. And then protective foods. Foods rich in proteins, vitamins, and minerals have regulatory functions in the body. For example, maintaining the heartbeat, water balance, temperature, etc. Protective foods are broadly classified into two groups. They are foods rich in vitamins, minerals, and proteins of high biological value, for example, milk, egg, fish, liver, etc. And foods rich in certain vitamins and minerals only, for example, green leafy vegetables and some fruits. Now, let us discuss about another food grouping system, that is, the five basic food groups. All the foods we use in our daily meals are divided into five basic food groups in the Food Guide for India. The food groups are chosen because of the specific nutrients contributed by each to the total diet. The Food Guide is designed to direct selection of foods and quantities consumed to provide by RDA recommended dietary allowances 
thus forming the foundation of our etiquette diet. If sufficient amounts of foods in terms of servings from each of the five food groups are included in the diet, the nutrient needs of the body will be easily met. Such a diet is then referred to as a balanced diet. According to the food guide, the five food groups are Group 1, Pulse, Milk, Egg, Meat, Fish group or Bodybuilding Foods. Group 2, Protective Vegetables and Fruit groups. Group 3, Other Vegetables and Fruits group. Group 4, Cereals and Millet groups. And Group 5, Oils, Fats and Sugars group. Let us look at what comprises each group and their contributions in terms of nutrients so that the food guide can be used as a practical tool. Group 1 Pulse, Milk, Egg, Meat, Fish group or Bodybuilding Foods. The foods in this group are important for their protein content which are required for replacing the wear and tear of the body and building of tissues. This group includes the major source of proteins in our dietary such as dals, whole pulses, milk, eggs, fish, poultry, and meat. These foods also supply some amount of the B vitamins such as thiamine, riboflavin, and niacin. Eggs, milk, and liver are rich in vitamin A. Dals, egg, and meat are good sources of iron. In addition, milk is a very good source of calcium and riboflavin. The foods in this group are varied in their composition and therefore the serving size of these foods varies as shown here. Dals and whole legumes or pulses 25 grams, milk and milk preparation 1 medium cup or 150 ml, egg medium size of about 50 to 52 gram one number fish meat and poultry 25 to 30 gram one serving of this group supplies about 5 to 6 grams of protein three or more servings per day of this group are recommended next group the protective vegetables and fruits group this group includes two major types such as green and yellow vegetables and fruits and vitamin C rich vegetables and fruits. Now green and yellow vegetables and fruits. Foods in this group are a rich source of beta carotene, a precursor of vitamin A and include the dark green leafy vegetables such as spinach, fenugreek, radish leaves, amaranth, coriander leaves, the light green leafy vegetables such as cabbage and onion tops and deep yellow orange vegetables and fruits such as carrots, mangoes, papaya, oranges and apricots. Half a cup or 50 to 75 grams of the cut vegetables or chopped fruit can be counted as one serving unit. Whole fruits such as mango and orange may be counted as one serving of this group. About half or more of a day's need for vitamin A is satisfied by one serving of this group. In addition, the dark green leafy vegetables provide about 50% need for vitamin C. It is suggested that one or more servings a day be included from this group. Now, vitamin C rich vegetables and fruits. The foods in this group are rich sources of vitamin C and fiber. This group includes fruits and vegetables such as amla or Indian gooseberry, lemon, cashew apples, guavas, drumsticks, cabbage, and all citrus fruits such as oranges, grapes, and other fruits such as papaya, mangoes, pineapple, and tomatoes. Half a cup of fruit or 50 to 75 grams of vegetable or a portion as ordinarily served such as a slice of papaya or an orange or one amla is counted as one serving. One or more serving a day is suggested. One serving provides 
half or more of our day's need for vitamin C. Next group, other vegetables and fruits group. These foods provide small amounts of minerals and vitamins besides supplying good amount of fiber. These include brinjal, cucumber, pumpkin, lettuce finger, etc. All types of goats such as ish, bottle, snack, bitter and rich goat, etc. Old immature beans and peas, beetroot, radish, potatoes, yams, onions, etc. Other fruits include bananas, apples, melons, grapes, berries, etc. Half a cup or 50 to 75 grams of vegetables and fruits may be considered as one serving unit. An intake of at least two or more servings of this group is recommended per day. Next, group four, cereals and millets group. These foods provide more than half the day's need for proteins and calories. In addition, if the whole grain or its flour is used in the preparation, these foods can be a valuable source of thiamine, one of the B vitamins, and iron. The foods in this group include preparations of rice, wheat, jawar, basra, maize or corn, ragi and their products such as rawa or semolina or suji, rice flakes, vermicelli, etc. Any preparation containing 25 grams of any cereal or millet may be counted as one serving. This is equal to half a cup of cooked rice, one medium chapati, two full cars, two to three puris, or one small roti, one sliced bread, 25 gram rice flakes, or any ready-to-eat cereals. Using two or more cereals in the same meal and serving cereal and legume preparations together improves the quality of the protein supplied in that meal. It is suggested that at least six or more servings may be selected from this group. And then group 5, sugar and jaggery, fats and oils group. Foods in this group mainly supply energy. Sugar and jaggery are a readily available energy source, while fats and oils are concentrated energy source. Sugar, jaggery, and all sugar preparations such as syrups, jams, and jellies are included as sugar serving. Sugar is mainly used to sweeten beverages like tea and coffee, sorbets and squashes. About 25 grams per day is sufficient. Oils and fats are used for seasoning our food. They improve the palatability, flavor, texture, and satiety value of food. Apart from this, oils and fats are necessary to transport and utilize fat-soluble vitamins in the body. Most of the hydrogenated fats are fortified with vitamin A. It is therefore advisable to use this in the daily diet. Oils include all vegetables oils such as groundnut, sesame, coconut, and mustard. Fats include ghee, butter, margarine, as well as hydrogenated vegetable oils commonly called banaspati. Fat intake should include at least 15 to 25 grams of vegetable oils in order to meet the requirement of essential fatty acids. The total amounts of oils and fats in the diet will vary with our total energy needs and our energy intake from the other food groups. As high fat diets are harmful to our health, the recommended dietary intakes 1991 suggested that the intake of dietary fat be 20% or less of the total calorie intake for adults and 25% for young children. However, for all age groups, about half of these will come from invisible fat in the diet. Now, to conclude, the food groups emphasize intake of variety of foods. It is necessary to choose a variety within each group because the nutrient compositions of foods 
in its group are different. Further, its food group does not provide all the nutrients to meet our requirements. So, proper combination of food items selected from each of the five food groups will help to ensure good nutrition.